Hallo Leute, willkommen zurück zu Soundcard oder ein weiteren Video von dem Spiel Lake. Beim letzten Mal waren wir auch schon unterwegs als Postbote und haben sozusagen Briefe und, und äh, Pakete ausgeliefert und haben so einiges Spannendes erfahren. Zum Beispiel, dass die Hotelbesitzerin oder Motelbesitzerin die Frau war, also unsere Frau und die Mutter von Emily, die eigentlich zu uns kommen wollte, aber die ist leider verhindert wegen ihrer Arbeit und jetzt machen wir uns das selber wahrscheinlich gemütlich und ich bin gespannt, wie es weitergeht. So, schauen wir rein. Wir müssen jetzt weiterfahren hier und wir müssen gucken. Heute ist die Tour, glaube ich, größer als das letzte Mal, ja. Also heute sind auf jeden Fall mehr Pakete da und wir lernen sozusagen die ganzen anderen Dinger hier noch kennen. Okay, fahren wir zuerst da hoch. Meine Hupe geht immer noch. Hatschitta, 402 Pine Street. Okay. Okay, let's get this to its destination. Ja, bestimmt jetzt so ein bisschen die Bewohner kennen. Oh, good day, Kay. Hi, Thomas. I've got a parcel for you. Ah, oh, thanks. I'm sure Mo. Uh, we'll be happy this arrived just in time. How are things with the family? Good. Good. Really looking forward to the holidays. I've been making Grace this great big space station out of ply. It's coming together really nicely. And Barry is getting Max a second hand guitar as we speak. Oh, that sounds great. I'm sure they can't wait for Christmas. <laughs> Neither can I. Uh, what about you and Emily? Got anything special planned for the coming days? Well, sadly, Meredith can't make it this year. Ah, uh, right. I'm sure she'll make it out here sometime. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, I'd best get on. I have to check on the oven. Or Santa will have to eat charcoal when he stops by tonight. <laughs> All right, best get back to it myself. Give our love to Barry and the kids. And Santa, if you happen to see him. Will do. You and Emily have a great Christmas too, okay? Das ist ja auch mies, ja. Vor Weihnachtsfest. Und hier draußen rum zu hüpfen. <lacht> Welchen haben wir denn? Oh, ist ja heute. Guck mal, der muss am, zu Weihnachten muss der noch ackern, Alter. Schlimm. <lacht> muss so viel Weihnachtsbeleuchtung wirklich sein? Das frage ich mich auch jedes Mal. Weil gerade bei uns in der Zeit jetzt alle meckern so rum wegen zu Strompreise, aber da werden die LEDs rausgeklemmt. Ja, das ganze Haus wird beleuchtet. Aber naja, jedem das seine. Hm. Eine Hupe. Eat. Der weiß ja wohl nicht, wo er hin will. Another satisfied customer. Unless it's Bills. There we go. Man kann doch nichts anderes machen, ne? 
Jetzt kann er wenigstens mal ein bisschen schneller laufen. Das war vorher nämlich nicht möglich. Ja, was heißt schnell? Ein bisschen. Du, was machst du hier? Du blockierst die Einfahrt. Also wirklich. Schäm dich. Der Cannibal Store, Einkaufsladen. Mal gucken. Main Street, wieder Main Street. Äh, wir gucken mal. Okay, gibt es ja nur die eine Main Street. Part and Parcel. <lacht> oh, und rauchen hier im Laden. Meine Fresse. Oh! Was hier los, Alter? Raus hier. Schönen Tag noch. Junge. Was soll das? Die wollte die wollt uns nicht haben. Die hat uns gleich gelasert. Hier. Bling, 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 bling. Geh weg, du böser Busbote. East First Street, okay. Erste Oststraße. Hä, hey, nimm's doch mit. Christmas Gift. Here's hoping. Vor allen Dingen, da unten ist die Tür klingelt und er macht erstmal Ding Dong. <lacht> Keiner da. And yet another satisfied customer. Also ich als Postbote würde glaube ich nie klingeln. Ich würde die einfach irgendwie hinlegen und fertig. Drück immer Escape für die Karte. So. Bin echt gespannt, was noch passiert. Ich hoffe, nichts Tragisches. Das wäre schade. Jetzt wird es irgendwie immer heller, oder? Kann das sein? Fancy handwriting on this one. Man muss doch nicht immer das hochklappen, dass da was drin ist. Hm. So war das doch bei diesen Briefkästen. Dass man das immer hochklappt und dann wissen die, aha, da ist was drin. So, wo muss ich jetzt lang? Äh, ja. Links lang. Und Fuchs. Cool.
experts on the town for the holidays. But he did ask me to keep an eye on his place. Seems to be in order. <laughs> Wer schwimmen kann? Speicher mal ab und gucken mal, ob wir schwimmen können. Nein. Okay. Gut, letzte Paket. Schau mal. Wie es da weitergeht. Ich glaube, dann feiern wir Weihnachten. Alleine. Ach nee, die Frau wollte ja ganz viele einladen. Okay, das war krass. Das... Fahrverhalten ändert sich sogar hier, wenn man auf so einen dichteren Schnee fährt. Cool. Er fast gerade irgendwo reingekracht. <lacht> Wach werden, weiterfahren. Die Reynolds Farm. Okay, let's get this to its destination. Wow, a visit from the Poker King. I humbly thank you for the honor. The pleasure is all mine, sir. And this package is yours. Who boy, Frank came through once again. A ah, package from Frank, huh? I don't want to know what's in it. A nice attempt at reverse psychology, but I'm not gonna tell you. But what I will tell you, I'm kicking off the new year with a bang. <laughs> I better put this somewhere dry. And then it's back to reading Doyle Brunson's super system. Oh, you're in trouble this Sunday, sir. <laughs> I'm glad I can blame the cold for my suddenly shaking hands. <laughs> nice spin, sir. Nice spin indeed. Anyway, later, Thomas, and take care on those icy roads. Mein Poker Kumpel. Das wird interessant. Da haben wir Poker hier. Schön idyllisch. Das Helle ist genauso grausam wie wie live, ey. Dieser helle Schnee. Ich glaube, ich bin jetzt wieder falsch abgebogen. Ja. Egal, macht nichts. Der kleine Umweg.
Ja, muss echt aufpassen, sonst fährst du in die Wand. Das Auto blatt. Feierabend. So. Geschafft. Hey Thomas, do you think it'll ever stop snowing? I'm glad it's the last day before Christmas break. Oh, well, sorry Frank. They're forecasting snow until at least the new year. But hey, about Christmas. Meredith bailed on us, which leaves us with a bit more food than we can handle. Maybe you'd like to volunteer and help us eat it uh, tomorrow evening. Christmas dinner at the Weiss residence. That sounds great, Thomas, but I'm afraid I'm all tied up. The Knicks are playing the Celtics. I think the Celtics will go all the way this year, but I wouldn't count out an upset at the Garden. Ah, don't get your hopes up. There's no way they can stop that Celtics front court. I'm gonna have to sleep on it, but you know I can't pass up a juicy bet. Hey, Thomas, before you go home, I need a favor. Can you help me with that guy over there? He said he's looking for a job, but I really gotta run now. Try to find out what he's made of, okay? Good luck! <laughs> Hello, young man. I heard you were looking for a job. My name's Thomas Weiss, and I've been working for the Postal Service for nearly 40 years. Hi, I'm Matt Kearney. I'm glad someone finally showed up. Nice to meet you, Matt. Could you... Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm basically a computer expert, kind of in between jobs right now. I've been programming since I was 11 years old. I'm looking to start my own software company. But I assume you are aware that we don't have computers here. Yes, and that's where I come in. I can overhaul this old-fashioned operation and have it running twice as efficiently with the help of computers. But I guess there aren't any computers yet that deliver mail to someone's front door. Oh, it's only the beginning. In the future, people won't write letters anymore, and parcels will be delivered by battery-powered mini-helicopters. Uh, right, okay. But let's focus a bit more on the here and now. Möchte Technik nerd. Do you enjoy working with customers? I think everyone would enjoy someone who skips the small talk and gets the job done as soon as possible. Well, that may be, but my question was if you enjoy working with customers. Sure, sure. I love people. I love helping people. Could we wrap this up now, please? I don't think a working here requires an extensive interview process. Oh. Uh, I'd like to ask one question. Wenn er dich schon längst rausgekantet, er könnte schon längst gehen können. What salary are you looking for? I know I can't ask for a salary in the computer expert range. But I would expect a salary that reflects a senior position. I don't think this will work out. Uh, good luck finding something else. Do you even know what you're doing right now? Yes, I'm letting you know that we're not interested in working with you. Tschüss. Okay. Bye. Was soll das? Der würde ja seinen Job denn wegnehmen. Yep, hello. Hey, honey, it's me. Finally found time to call. I'm having such a busy day. Did you invite anyone else over for tomorrow? Yes, I did, but no takers. So it's just you, me, and Mildred. Or is Beth coming as well? Yeah, Beth is coming. So happy I could finally change her mind. <laughs> nice work. 
She's great company. As opposed to Mildred? <laughs> no, this is not funny. Mildred is a sweetheart. And you better wear the Christmas sweater she knitted for you last year. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Dead serious. I will not be the only one looking stupid. Oh, by the way, I've got great news. We finally found someone to take some shifts off my hands. That's fantastic. No more 60-hour work weeks. I also had a job interview today. I wasn't at the interview, but I was introduced to him after he was hired. Did he wear glasses? Yes, he did. <laughs> did he have curly hair? Yeah. Are we playing Guess Who? His name is Matt. Matt Kearney. He said he's going to completely overhaul our computer system. Well, that's the guy I interviewed this afternoon. Really? Did you like him? Sehr komischer Zufall. Can't say that I did, to be honest. Uh, that's a shame. But it doesn't matter. He'll be taking the load off my shoulders. And I won't be working alongside him anyway. You'll probably see him more often than I will. And there I was thinking I dodged a bullet. We'll see how it all pans out. Oh, gotta go now. Bye, hun. Ja, aber was ist dein Busch? Gut, Terminkalender, okay. So, zu Hause bleiben Fernsehen. Ach, wir lesen mal ein Buch. Hm, Major League Baseball Umpires are required to wear black underwear while on the job, in case they split their pants. Golf is the only sport to have been played on the moon. On February 6th, 1971, Alan Shepard hit a golf ball on the moon. <laughs> Because of the low gravity, it may have traveled more than a mile. Kein Weihnachtsfest. Hm. Weiss Residence, good morning. Hey, Dad. It's me. Hey there, Em. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Dad. Merry Christmas to you, too. I wish I was in P.O. right now. That makes two of us. And probably three, but Mom's at the motel. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one working today, then. Fine mess I got myself into, huh? Do you want my two cents, or shall I just listen? I'm... Rick and I already know what you're thinking, and you're probably right. I'll be okay, Dad. Work's progressing nicely, actually. And Tess is coming over later. She's also stuck here. We're going to try to cook up some semblance of a Christmas meal. Oh, that's good to hear, Em. But I'm glad the other Em will be in charge of my Christmas dinner. <laughs> Can't disagree there. Her lemon mashed potatoes alone blows all my cooking out of the water. Oh, that reminds me. I need to try to pry that secret recipe out of her. I'm gonna call her at the motel right now. Thanks for talking, Dad. And Merry Death Christmas. You got it, Em. Hang in there. Thanks. Love you. Oh, Mildred, you shouldn't have. We already have the most beautiful pair of Christmas sweaters in the world. And now we have two sweaters each. <laughs> you must have put so much work into them. Oh, please, don't mention... Oh, deswegen mögen sie die nicht. Sweaters can quite... Eine alte Dame gewesen. <laughs> How happy they make you always makes up for it. Well, we're so grateful. Right, Thomas? They're beautiful. And thank you so much, Mildred.
I especially like that our sweaters have the same pattern, so I don't have to look in the mirror to admire it. Oh, Thomas, that makes me so happy to... Einfach Freunde sein und nicken. <laughs> Wait to start working on next year's designs. I've also made sweaters for Frank and Jack and Robert and Bert, but they all said that wool gives them an allergic reaction. Isn't that a coincidence? Beth, I hope you aren't allergic to wool. You're not going to believe the coincidence, Mildred, but yes, I actually <laughs> am. And it's such a shame. Hätte ich wirklich auch mal sagen sollen, mal. <laughs> Celebrate Christmas wearing one of those beautiful sweaters. Anyway, uh, Emily, would you be a darling and pass me the peas, please? Peas? I, I don't... Oh, you mean the string beans. I suppose peas would have gone lovely with the meal as well, now that you mention it. Right, Thomas? Uh, I suppose. Oh, Yes, of course. I meant the string beans. Of course, silly me. But let me get on with it. It's time for my presence now. And you may have already guessed that they're books. Mildred, why don't you open yours first? Well, I'm not really one for presents, but I appreciate the gesture. <laughs> Let's see now. The cat's pajamas. I've never heard of it. But it has a nice title, I suppose. It's an encyclopedia about cats. A whiskerpedia, if you will. Someone drew my attention to it, and I immediately thought of you. Oh, well, isn't that lovely? Such a heartfelt gift, isn't it, Thomas? Maybe you can start knitting your cats some pajamas now. Well, they do like balls of yarn. Thank you, Beth. It was my pleasure, Mildred. And now for Emily's gift. Oh, why, thank you, Beth. I do always appreciate your taste in books, so I'm looking forward to the Countess and the Carpenter. Ah, would you look at that? Is this a romance novel? I've never really read one of those. Right in one guess, Emily. I hear the writer Summers here, so this book is locally sourced, so to speak. And, dare I say it, the prose is quite... compelling in the romance department, if you catch my drift. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> but you are something else. Thank you. This will certainly get a nice spot on our bookcase. I don't think I'll ever read it, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to reading it already. Thank you so much, dear Beth. You're welcome, Emily. I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, Thomas, it's your turn now. Let's see. Crazy sports facts, too. Even more crazy sports facts. Whew, boy, I love this stuff. I'm actually reading part one at the moment, so I can tuck into this straight after. Thanks, Beth. You're welcome, Thomas. And you're right, there's some fascinating tidbits in part one as well. Even if one no longer actively plays sports, it's at least fun to read about it, right? I've never really been into sports that much, to be honest. Well, there's no shame in admitting that you're not getting any younger, Thomas. In fact, none of us are exactly spring chickens anymore. Things like your arthritis can't magically be wished away by positive thinking. Ich möchte ein Stück Blaubeerkuchen, Alter. Da liegt ein Truthahn drauf. Du möchtest einen Bl Blaubeerkuchen. But let's not burden our lovely guests with this right now. Who's up for some blueberry pie? Oh, jetzt fragt er trotzdem das. Berries. My bridge partner, Edna's niece, discovered this mole last week. Hold that thought, Mildred. I really need to take this. Hello? Hi there. Could you put me through to Meredith Weiss, please? Uh, excuse me, who is this? Oh, it's Steve. Steve Mitchell, from work. He's Meredith there. Ja, 
You're talking to her father in Oregon. She's at home, celebrating Christmas. Wait, what? Christmas? Uh, oh my gosh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, is it Christmas already? Gosh, I, I totally missed that. Uh, I've been pulling a couple of old nighters. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna splash some water on my face. Sorry again, Mr. Weiss. Enjoy your evening. Bye. Merry Christmas. Everything Komisch. okay, honey? Uh, that silly boss from Meredith's work called for some reason or other. Uh, never mind. Beth, you were saying? Uh, I wasn't, actually. But I was looking for a way to say this, and now's as good a time as any, I suppose. My dear friends, I am leaving Providence Oaks. <gasps> what? You're what? What's that, dear? Uh, are you serious? Well, before we move on to the sad part, let me first tell you the good part. Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be a grandmother. Oh, Beth, that is amazing. Well, I'll be. Whose mother? I, I mean, <laughs> congratulations. Yes, my son Daniel and his wife are expecting. Isn't that wonderful? But, and here's the proverbial kicker, you may remember that they moved to Savannah, Georgia a few years ago. Jetzt brauchen Sie einen Aufpasser. Put two and two together. You're moving away to be with them. That's great, Beth. I'm so happy for you. That is marvelous, Beth. Congratulations. I wish you and your family all the happiness in the world. But how? I'll miss you something terrible. We all will. But we have to toast to the good news. Thomas, go pour us some brandy and I'll get the pie. Oh, Thomas, would you have any antacid? That eggnog is starting to stir up something indiscreet. Get on it. Now, let's celebrate this wonderful evening, ladies. Here's to a lovely old Christmas spent with good friends. Here, 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 here. Hey, Thomas. Did you see the game last night? Morning, Frank. Uh, nope. Yeah, es geht natürlich gleich wieder arbeiten am 26. Ne? <laughs> But I have a feeling you're going to talk about it anyway. The Celtics were up by 25 in the third quarter, but they still lost the game <laughs> in double overtime. Mm, so was it a big payday for you? <laughs> One of the biggest of the year. And now the odds are dropping for Boston. I'm going to bet on them to win it all this season. Nice move. Good luck, Frank. Thanks, Thomas. Have a good one today. Okay. Der nächste Tag ist wieder rum. Wir sind wieder mein Paket ausliefern. Wir müssen überlegen. Am 26. geht er schon wieder arbeiten. Das ist schon krass. 24. war arbeiten. 25. war nur Weihnachten. Ja. Und 26. geht er wieder arbeiten. Der hat es nicht so gut wie wir in Deutschland. Okay, gut. Das war das Spiel. Lake. Ähm, ja. Wie gesagt, das ist so ein bisschen harmonisch, das Spiel mag ich. Also auch vom Grafischen her. Ähm, ich finde es ein bisschen eintönig, äh, aber weil, ja, man tut jetzt alle paar Tage da Post ausfahren und dann redet man viel. Äh, man muss viel lesen, man muss viel zuhören und äh, ich mag eher so Actionspiele, ja, so, so, bam, 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 muss gehen und so. Ja, es muss nicht dauerhaft immer bam, bam gehen, kann noch ein bisschen Story sein, mag ich auch, aber es muss halt was passieren, ja, also, weiß ich nicht. Ich bin gespannt, was da noch so kommt. Werden wir uns irgendwann bestimmt mal angucken. Und ja, falls dir das so gefallen hat, das Spiel, dann holst dir gerne. Ansonsten äh, würde ich mich freuen über einen Daumen hoch und über ein Abo. Und auch mal einen Besuch bei uns auf dem Discord, wenn du nicht schon da bist. Und ähm, ja, dann wünsche ich einen schönen Tag und bis zum nächsten Video. Macht's gut. Tschüss.